rainy, rainy day. It's gonna be miserable, but honestly, it actually might be one of the best days of fishing. When there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of current. I don't know, fish generally tend to be somewhat active when it's raining, at least in my experience. So, trying to fish for a first strike bass, but hey, maybe something else will fly. I don't know. We'll check it out. Telescopic rod. Basically, real small, but it's gonna come out probably to about, you know, seven, seven and a half feet. So the first thing I'll do is I'll tie on a, a sinker, a sliding sinker clip. So, eh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna slide that through here like this. And just leave it. Next, I'm gonna take one of my clips. Yeah, this one's a good one. I'm gonna attach the clip to the braid now. Here, I'm just gonna do a clinch knot. When I do the clinch knot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the braid through once, right? Braid slips more. So when you do a normal clinch, it's not gonna work. You have to put it through twice, like this. This provides an extra catch. So your braid won't slip after that. You do, uh, you know, do a clinch. I'll go... Uh, that's good. Get it through the whole thing when it comes down. Uh, it's gonna kind of look like this. I have mono. This is gonna be my leader. I'll do. I'll do like. Yeah, what is that? Like three-ish feet. One end of this mono is gonna have to clip on to the clip. So I'm just gonna do a surgeon's loop on this. So you just make a loop. Make another loop. Hold it. Take a... Uh, Sorry, I got distracted. So, okay, let's start again. Make a loop. All right, twist it into another loop. Your original uh, loop, you stick it through here. And you stick it through again. Real simple. Uh, you end up getting a pretty strong, strong loop. I'm gonna cut that tag end off once I uh, attach it, but it's good for now. So this is gonna go on the clip. On this end, I'm gonna put a big old hook. So I'm gonna do a big old hook on this one. I'm gonna do a palomar on this. Okay, so now you got a nice strong palomar there. I'm gonna cut that tag off later. Uh, so this is about, Still about three feet. I would say about a third of the way down right here ish. Yeah, that's good. So the whole rig, you got the sinker, you got the first, and then you got the second. <laughs> so the rain is picking up. The wind is picking up over here as well. The entire back side of my jeans are, are completely soaked, but I'm pretty dry up top because of uh, the shell I have. And most importantly, my shoes, although they're wet on the outside, they're completely dry on the inside. These are like amazing shoes. Uh, they're called Bessies. Got them as a gift from my wife. They're like, they're like these things are amazing so the question here could be are you miserable yet not quite there yet might be close rain has mostly stopped at this point it's still really cloudy still kind of foggy but because the rain has mostly stopped uh, I'm starting to dry off on my pants there was a point there was a point where I was like mm, this sucks I'm cold and wet but now I'm starting to dry off I'm still cold and wet but I'm not uh, getting actively wetter
as you can tell, the weather got much, much nicer just now. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at the weather over there. It's, it's beautiful. I haven't caught anything yet. <laughs> so you don't know how the fishing's going to turn out, but, but at least the weather's nice and at least it's getting warm. Sailboats in the river. Uh, good time out here. Now I just need to catch something. Ah, uh, the, the jealous eyes uh, of a man who's been fishing for almost four hours and then uh, the guy who shows up an hour ago is killing it right next to me. I'm gonna try to ask, see what he's doing that I'm not. Yeah, this is this is Ian. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Follow Sovereign Living. Sovereign Living TV. Listen, we just we just started our channel like last week. So. <laughs> nah, man, you killed it today. Killed it today. The weather was just getting nice. Man. I was sitting on the couch and I'm like, I'm not gonna catch anything today. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm glad you came out though. So I got a tip from Ian, who uh, just left. He was using sandworms and he was pulling up some schoolies right near the structure over there. I don't know if I have to go to his spot, but I can definitely cast to where he was casting. So I'm definitely gonna try that. He had to go, unfortunately, but uh, my bait shop didn't have any sandworms. So I got these earthworms, night crawlers. What they suggested is, hey, we don't have any bloodworms, but take some earthworms, stick some of this guy on it. It's actually bloodworm scent made from real bloodworms. How do they make it from real blowers? What do they do? They just kind of like congeal blowers? Well, I'm confused. They like blend bloodworms or something? I don't know. I mean, maybe a little cruel, but... That super goop thing is, is crazy. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Like Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. I used to live there for a couple, for one year actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this has got to be something. Uh, no. There you go. Oh, small. Oh, it's very small. It's tiny. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's something very small. Do I have it? Oh, wow, so small. Oh, geez, yeah, it's so small. It's like a it's like a goldfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a perch, white uh -huh, perch. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow, this is tiny. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's fish there, but really small. <laughs> Very small. So I normally wouldn't uh, post anything if all I caught was like a tiny little perch, but uh, you know, today I did have some really good conversations and met some really good people. I would say normally when I'm fishing around New York, I'll, I'll run into like five to 10 people and have some really interesting conversations. And just because like, I don't want to post any of that on YouTube, I, I don't, but you know, today uh, we ran into Ian at the, uh, Sovereign Live. Definitely follow him. He's uh, clearly a better fisherman than I am. So if you want to see people catch more fish, then definitely go check him out and subscribe. And then I met uh, another, I, I wish I had caught the name of the gentleman that I was speaking to, but um, he was a member of the advisory board of Riverkeeper. Uh, he had some really good information about the environmental state of the river and what they're doing. Um, I, I was familiar with the organization from just you know, looking around and, and being interested in that kind of stuff in the past. So um, definitely, definitely check out their, their website. I, I encourage everyone else, especially, yeah, if you're living around the city and, and you're close to, the, to any of the waterways, um, it not only keeps the fish healthy, <laughs> but actually it just keeps the entire city beautiful. I think the cleaner the waters are, you know, maybe there's a day where 
uh, we can all go and, and swim in the rivers and uh, eat the fish without being worried <laughs> about getting sick. Um, that would be my dream. But until then, I mean, I think uh, the best we can do is, is continue to try.